Oh my god, you guys, have I got a surprise for you? It is some Town Hall 10 action, and we're in the War vs. Persian 44. I will do a Town Hall 9 war recap on this video. Um, sorry, on this war, but this is the meat. This is some serious Town Hall 10 3 stars, so uh, really happy to be able to bring you this video. You know, when the content comes, I'll show what I can. And this one is all about Town Hall 10s going down, so uh, I've got three raids to show you. Um, three Tunnel Tens died in the making of this video, so I'm sorry to, to have to. I'm sorry to Persian 44 that we wrecked wreck so many. Obviously, we absolutely annihilated them in the war. Um, it wasn't really, um, you know, I don't think they they could cope with that quantity of three stars because we got 23 versus one. Um, anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's have a look at the first raid because it's going to be a shattered Laloon and it's going to be by Azoz. Now, initial scout. When you know when you you're on, you're in for a potential winner, when you've got two air defences relatively close to each other, between that you've got an expo and an inferno tower, and a route to the kill the queen. So if you can take down the CC, two air defences, the inferno and the queen, you're laughing, and an expo. So what he does, then and that's what the two golems are for: the king, the queen, um, the lightning the wizards and the wall breakers and the jump spell that's to do all that and then the 20 loons the two the three hounds and um, this is one in the cc and the two rage spells and free spell that's for the rest of the base so breaking it down he needs to kill those two air defenses so the natural sort of route inwards would be sort of almost like in, in adjacent to that gold mine that's like the central point so that's where he needs to be aiming Let's watch what he does and how he does it. So, uh, yeah, excited to be able to show some sick three stars here. Anyway, first golem's down. Queen's going down to create some, um, start taking some buildings. Wizard's down there as well to do the funnel. And the queen's already just got free, freely able to take down a lot of buildings and start moving inwards now. Look, so he's funneled that correctly. Second golem down. And the... Um, now the wall breakers are in to sort of try and redirect the golems. That's the idea which they've just done. The wizard's still down to funnel. And now he's got his path inwards look. So now that the queens, the CC is starting to be pulled, he's going to consider dropping the king, I'd imagine. There it is, look. And then the lightning spell is going to be on his mind now to drop the lightning straight onto the witch's head. So here it goes, look. And now he's got to be aware of the king and queen ability. So he's dropped the king ability already. Now it's going to be hopefully to CC go down quick. King's now in there taking down the buildings. The, he's on the Inferno Tower. That's down. Now the Queen's free to take the other air defence down. And at this point, right now, he's won. He's, he's, the success is there. But watch what also happens. So the Queen's shooting buildings. What she got left in her tanks. Another Tesla goes down. And then the Miracle. A second Expo. But already, the um, if you see the Expo that go down at the top. Two Hounds um, in already. Loon's going across. Sorry, the three hounds are in now. All the loons spreading through. Nice rage spell there. He's going to time. What needs to time is um, his uh, free spell right on that inferno. And here it goes. Look, now the loons are starting to move in close. And hopefully he's got the pathing right, which it didn't quite go straight up, which was a little bit of a shame. So some loons are going to get hurt now um, the, with the uh, inferno tower targeting them. But now the final hounds popped. He's got a lot of loons left and they're starting to move up. He's got back end loons as well, which I just zoomed out too much to see. And now look at it. Loads of loons take out that last Tesla. And now the base is done. So very, very nice. And I'll tell you why this attack was so good. is because the kill squad just went absolutely nuts. And when you're designing a tunnel 10, now you know that if you've got a, an Inferno Tower next to two air defences and the Queen and um, an, expo, an Expo, you're in a very vulnerable position. Because if someone can kill squad into that and the rest of the base is just, like, well, as you just saw. <laughs> um, another, believe it or not, classic example, completely different base layout, but completely the same scenario. Look, pause here. Okay, so if you look from the left hand side of the base, you've got two air defences next to an expo, next to the air sweeper, and an inferno tower and the queen. So you could take down the sweeper, the expo, two air defences, the inferno tower, the queen and the CC, and some other buildings en route. That is the death. Um, if, you, if you've got a guy that knows how to Laloon, 
you're in trouble if that's if that's the way you are if yeah if you let them get that far in or you've 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 um you've put your position your defenses like that so let's watch how he does it so fair play to gusty for getting the job done on this raid so golem high enough north to not be distracted by the sweeper wizards down they've got a lot of cleanup to do here Second girl, I mean, knew was going to go straight to the sweeper anyway, so he was happy to drop that adjacent to it. Um, and the queen's there to help try to take down these buildings. A lot of high HP this side, but because it's on the outside, it's going to go down um, quite quickly because the wizards can directly target it, so it's not the best idea. Both golems going down or getting shot now. Um, wizard tower one down. King's going in, needs to redirect, which he just about did. Close on the funneling there. Um, wall breakers are in breaking the guys in and here we go look this is going to be the crucial part the lightning um, lightning spell straight on the witch's head so the witch is dead that's great king ability now needs to break through the wall because he hasn't bought a jump spell with him um, he is through here comes the queen to back up inferno about to go down there you go two air defenses gone queen about to go down um, queen on queen and the queen's Sorry, the queen on the king now. Queen's dead. King's dead. Um, first hound going through and around. Soaking up all those traps. Second hound coming in. Back up. He's in position already. Loon's now coming in. So going to need a good timed um, free spell to make sure that the uh, loons don't take it too much damage. There it is. Third hound in now. And now he's going to be considering the rest of the... Um, defense that need to go down the only shame is the expos are real far away so he's bought that extra rage spell to help push the loons through the base now he needs that hound to be targeted which i think it's being at the moment it's hard to tell but if it is that's great because it will pop it hopefully will pop but i'm not sure um it doesn't matter though he's got so many loons there look at how close that hound is to popping by the way if that popped that would be let there it is look oh my god it's great to see um, there's enough pups to get some cleanup done. He's got a couple of goblins going in as well. But the majority of this raid is done. It is going to come close on time because the cleanup troops aren't quite there. There's um, there's not a huge amount of pups, but very nice thought out attack. I like the way that he sort of knew that the bottom side of the base was going to struggle um, and that he, he, he was happy to risk the kill squad no jump um, to, 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 to sacrifice that for the extra raid spell, which would help him later on in the raid. So because of that, he earned himself a three-star and because of that, he earned himself a, obviously a spot on this video, but respect from the from everyone in the clan. Because I'll tell you now, if you think three star a town or nine is hard, three star a town or ten, so many different variables there really is. But there it is. So well done to Gusty, awesome attack. The final one we're going to show is a good old fashioned, new fashioned, old fashioned, whichever hocus pocus, and it's Venaris showing us how it's done. And yeah, we're going to see something special, I think. So the first um, sort of golem and barb was in to sort of, I imagine, check for a giant bomb. Um, now all the witches can go in. Look, king and queen as well. It's going to come down to spell placement. I'm going to zoom out so you've got a good overshot of what's going on. Wizards cleaning up some percentage on the outside there. Um, so the, the CC are coming out to meet them. Double jump into the core. Look, um, freeze spell down and lightning spell on the CC under freeze as well. So that's pretty much all his spells done by the rage spell. I imagine he's going to be using the rage near the, the um, inferno, which he has done. Look to help take that down. And his king's getting hammered. Um, king's been targeted by the single target inferno, actually, I think. Um, and it's about to... Oh, no, his barbs are getting targeted. But the king's about to die, but it's already... Van sort of almost plucked up um, two stars. And that's, that's good. Um, safe. Um, because then you don't need to worry too much because the two stars are there but no, clearly he's going to be gunning for the three to see what he can do and the queen's clutching at the moment she's going to take down that um, elixir storage then she's going to take down the uh, wizard tower she does switch over to the lab now which is a shame so he'll use the ability now she's taking the cannon down but look down the bottom side which is a breaking through the core um, they've just about got through all those skellies now that, but the wizard tower is just wrecked skeletons look how many they kill at once so you need lots of different timed skeletons to come in at once. Um, I mean, preferably a giant or two to help. So, uh, but he hasn't got that. So he's just relying on the different sort of positioning of the skellies to get through. Queen died unfortunately before she was able to get to the uh, arch tower. Now that's dead. The last of the splash damage. It's just over. So again, a really strong attack by Van. 
Really nice Hocus Pocus to bring the third and final Tamil 10 3 star of this video. So I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of shift of focus because you know as well as I do 98% of my content is Tamil 9 focused. But when good stuff comes up on the Tamil 10 front I'm never shy to show it. So some very good raids there. I hope you've picked something up from them. Feel free to watch again look at the delivery and sort of the timing of what he, what these guys do and yeah obviously if you're a Tamil 10 thinking that you can bring some something like this to emphatic then please apply for our clan on emphaticelite.com anyway hope you've enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys on the next one or shout me out and shout me up on twitter which is at clashing matty peace <laughs>